He has come to his conclusion. He wants you and you only. Hello and welcome back to our channel. And yes, he is finally choosing you over anyone else. He's clear and is ready. Listen ahead to what this reading has to say. So there was this time where he was really unsure with who he wants to be with and to commit to. Maybe he had a couple of girls or he was talking to yeah, many women, not knowing if he will ever feel fulfilled and committed in truth. But this reading says that they are now aware of who they want and that person is you. Welcome to this reading. I am Lara. I'm a certified ascension coach and I start now with all these insights and I will channel this reading for you. So the first question I have on my mind is how does he feel now about his past relationships? And I have a card for you. It says understanding. So what I feel is that he has now a much clearer picture on the circumstances. He understands what is going on on a deeper level. So there was a lot of unclarity in his mind and I feel he was um, more outside of himself than internal connected, not inside, connected with his heart and his own intuition. And he was searching for something. When he was talking to these women or meeting all these girls, he really was searching for you. And this is what he's now understanding deeper, that there is not the love outside of himself, but that he can connect to the love inside. And he feels that this love belongs to you, that there's this connection. He can feel now much clearer in his heart. So when it comes to his past relationships, he has now this understanding that it was all about him. He was not clear what he was choosing or wanting. And he was not clear what his intentions really are because he was not clear with his heart and not feeling all of his emotions and feelings. And with this card understanding, I feel it really made click in his mind and in his heart, like his soul is awakened on a deeper level. And his soul is clearly communicating to him, hey, this love is not outside of you and you will not find it in these different types of women. It was always in your heart and in your heart he feels this strong connection now. And he understands finally that he will not find his fulfillment in dating or meeting other women. So I feel there's a lot of relief, but also release. And what I'm also questioning is how does he feel about you now? So the next card is inside and it is a blue one with a Ganesha and I feel it is about an inner knowing. There's not the questioning anymore. This understanding brought him deeper into his heart. Now he feels deeply as an insight, as a knowing, like straight from love, from the source of love that you are the woman he was always searching for. And the blue feels very peaceful. So there's a lot of, like I said, relief in his heart. He can relax much more deeper into this knowing and into his own understanding that the love he was searching for was not outside, but inside of himself. And that this is the true connection he was searching. And this connects him with you directly. Like this is a heart to heart connection. And I feel with this relaxation he's now gaining, he feels much more peaceful with himself. So there was a lot of weight on his shoulders with this past relationships he tried to fix or try to make happen. But it was never about them and it was never about love between them. It was about finding love. And now with feeling his feelings and his own connection, I feel there's a big progress in his life overall. So letting go of old patterns, for example, where he was trying to fix things on the outside or find love on the outside. And with this release, there's coming in this deep relaxation. So this feels very, very good. And he's much more clear about his life vision, I feel. 
as he is letting go these past relationships and feeling his love for you, he can just relax into his true dreams. Because I feel he wanted to make his dreams come true, but he always tried on his own. And now there's this relaxation in love, where he can do it with love, with love itself. And when he wants to do it with love itself, he chooses his true connection with his one true love, which is you. This is so clear in his heart. So has he come to a conclusion with whom does he want to be? And I feel to this question a clear yes. Yes, he is very clear about that. I feel he has really come to this point where there's no going back to the old situation again because he can't make unknown what he knows and he knows. So with this insight and feeling inside and this deep connection and understanding awareness, it is like a new awareness he has over his past relationships, he can't make it unknown. So he is clear. He is completely clear in his heart with whom he wants to be with. And this is absolutely you. So there's no question about that. But what I feel, what is still on his heart and mind is a kind of guilt. Or he's blaming himself for his past experiences. So I feel what he needs now is to find into a deeper trust that this love is for him. That you are still loving him. That there is nothing in between you and him. And as he relaxes deeper into the peaceful feeling in his heart, the connection, he finally can choose to forgive himself. And as you hear this reading, this message is for you. He wants to be with you and he wants to express his love for you. He's just struggling at the moment in letting go the guilt and blame towards himself for his experiences and for his choices. So what I feel is because maybe you have the question on your heart as you listen to this reading, if, yeah, should I express my feelings and reach out to him or should I wait? I feel the first step for you is to come to the same connection in your heart as he does. And the card I have now for you is wholeness. So it is connected to the heart chakra. And I feel here is the complete whole love you both share with one another. This is a big amount of love and it is safe to first connect with this love inside of yourself because this is what he is doing at the moment. He is really searching the connection inside of himself as he is letting go of the past experiences and his own guilt. And as you connect to your whole being, your whole state, your whole one love you share, there will be a clarity also in you. So the first step is not to reach out, but to go inside and also to connect to your love inside. And I have a second card on this because we want to be very clear what can you do to come closer to him. And the next card is steadfastness. So what I feel is you were always steadfast in your love towards him. And I guess he already knows, but the guilt can make things up so that he is not fully aware or is not fully feeling that he was always loved by you. But deep in his heart, he knows. And what I see with connecting with the wholeness state inside of yourself and your own steadfastness is what is supporting him in the fastest and best way that he can release his own guilt he's still carrying. That he was always loved by you and that he is unconditionally loved also now by you. And this feeling of his woman is always there and the love is always there for him, he can let go and he can forgive himself much more easily. So this is very beautiful and I feel there's a lot of power in you as the feminine energy and there's no need to wait to reach out to him. But first go inside and really make sure that you are in love and that you feel unconditional love towards him. And from this place, yes, there's an opening and you can, of course, reach out. There's never a need to wait for love. First step always should be to connect inside, to feel your own love 
and connect from a love space, from a space full of love and unconditional love, which is overflowing in your own heart. So that you do not need him to make you complete, but that you are already whole. And from this wholeness, you want to reach out to him. So, I mean, there is this love flowing between you. I can feel that. There's a lot of love flowing. And what I invite you also to go deeper is with a question, because what has been your lesson in this situation? And I have a card for you here. You can feel now what has been your lesson in this situation. The card is saying promise of the future. Yeah, and what I feel is that your lesson, your main lesson was to be safe in love and that you can trust your own intuition and your own love. Because as he moved through all of his challenges with this previous relationships, which are now only past memories and experiences, you always knew that this love is true and you never left this space. Even when there were moments where you maybe were upset about him or the situation and you maybe struggled or even mistrusted your own love and intuition, you always followed your heart. So there were moments and challenges, but you always overcame them and so did he. So the promise of the future is saying to you and communicating to you that your lesson was to trust the love and you trust it. So this is like your promise is now coming true. The dream is coming true. And you gave yourself maybe the promise that you will commit to this love because this love was like unexplainable and you never had something similar before. You never experienced such a deep connection, love to someone and you were all the way steadfast. So your promise you gave yourself is now coming true. And you can be so proud of you that you never gave up, even when it was hard or hard to believe or hard to trust. So this is a beautiful card and there's the sunset and it is very peaceful and like all the dreams are now coming true. This is like the sun. It is like the divine love is coming into your life. Beautiful. So I have a picture in my mind where he really opened his heart. He's sitting like in the corner and he's he's ready and done with all the past relationships. And this heaviness is like leaving his whole system and his heart is opening up and there's this light coming in. And all the things he never cared about, like when someone was talking about the football match or the woman wanted to have another date and he was really tired of that and he didn't really want these kind of connections where he needed to, to talk about football matches or talking about the next date which he never enjoyed so this is really like a big relief in his whole system his whole whole energy field and is making room and his heart is opening and he feels that this was also his promise. And it was, in truth, the promise of the divine. And it was like this love was planted in his heart from the divine and now is coming true because he understands what life was teaching him. So he had also a lesson here to learn. And as he opens up his heart, to his one true love, which is you. He will feel like he's coming home. And yeah, you were always on his mind. And now he's like very committed to keeping his heart open to this love. So what I invite you to feel about is what you can do about the situation now. What can I do in the meantime? I mean, he is processing all of his feelings and releasing the guilt and there's no way around than opening up to the love. So the promise is coming true. And the last card I have for you here is nurture. And yeah, I feel you have to nurture your own dream. You have to nurture your own love. It is a lot about self-care and self-love. And be sure as you nurture yourself and nurture your own dream in your heart and your own vision with your one true love, it will manifest in a much faster way. It will like grow in your heart and this love will overflow into your reality. It will manifest into your reality. So there's never waiting. You can just nurture yourself 
and give yourself a lot of self-care, self-attention. And yeah, the best way, you can go deeper with all the resources we have. For example, you can find a lot of information about manifesting your one true love and about self-love and your healthy relationship in our introductory course. I can highly recommend this. Also, we have a lot of very qualified and professional ascension coaches and a lot of them already live with their one true love in union and they can guide you perfectly towards your next steps. So nurture your dream, nurture your vision, nurture the love inside and yeah, no need to wait. You can have support on this. You can make bigger steps if you want to and yeah, just claim all of your resources and support they are available for you this was a beautiful reading so feel free to like and subscribe thank you for listening and yeah keep loving yourself keep loving your man and keep loving the love thank you and namaste